Hello and welcome to Dr. Welling Show. Recently, a woman in US died after being infected by a bacteria. During her visit to India, the doctors found that the bacteria were resistant to all the available antibiotics in the world. The infection was caused by a bacteria short formed as CRE. It's a multiple drug resistant organism or bacteria associated with very high death rate. Now, while such type of bacteria are not new in USA, what was new in this case is that infection was resistant to all the available antibacterial drugs. The antibiotics are important medicines that have been used to treat bacterial infections for more than last 70 years. They work by either disrupting the processes how the bacteria grow or by the way they survive so that it prevents their reproduction. But these drugs are becoming less and less effective against the bacterial infections nowadays and could even one day be totally useless. And right now, there isn't a, any alternative that could take place of antibiotics in allopathic medicine. It's conceivable that in the next 20 years, treatments such as chemotherapy and simple surgery will become totally impossible because they rely wholly on antibiotics currently. We are facing a future where a cuff or cut could kill once completely. So how a bacteria becomes a superbug or completely resistant? Now they become resistant to antibiotics by a lot of other means. These tiny organisms are finding ways to outsmart the drug designed to kill them. In the case of these bacteria, they don't just survive, but they keep growing continuously. And actually, our actions are speeding up the antibiotic resistance in these bacteria. The resistance tends to develop where the bacteria are frequently exposed to antibiotics. Resistant bacteria can spread from hospitals to the public both directly and indirectly via water supply. People then pass the bacteria between themselves by coughing or contact with unwashed hands. That's the reason hygiene is the number one important thing. Research hasn't kept up with the growing resistance of bacteria to antibiotics. So you'll be surprised no new type of class or antibiotics have been discovered for the last 25 years and some strains of bacteria now are totally unharmed by nearly all the drugs designed to kill them making infections by these bacteria almost untreatable and death a sure thing. Doctors have already overused most of these antibiotics available in the market. So creating new ones require a lot of time, patience and financial investment. And the pharmaceutical companies basically are targeting chronic illnesses, you know, like diabetes or blood pressure to maximize their profits instead of investing into new antibiotic drugs. So what you can do? The most easiest way to tackle this is by improving the overall hygiene around you. Follow basic principles of washing hands. The health workers need to be taught about the problem of antibiotic resistance. And doctors should be encouraged to not over prescribe antibiotics. Homeopathy medicines for infection work by making your body itself kill the bacteria instead of killing them themselves. In the process, your immunity becomes stronger to fight future infections also. As your body is far more intelligent than any antibiotic or bacteria, the bacteria can never become resistant to your own immunity if it's not suppressed due to any other reason. Over the last 200 years, homeopathic medicines have been equally effective in tackling infections by improving the immune system. That's it in the episode of Dr. Welling Show. See you in the next episode. Till then, take care, stay healthy and stay happy.